it's been a while since I've been here. I'm glad to be back. Um, I'll just keep this short and sweet. Good luck to Chris uh, and better luck to me. Let's do this. Hello at Cambridge Star Train. Um, happy Fate my lunch again. We had a bunch of good time last time. Here to have fun again. But may the best person win. What's up, assholes? Welcome back to Opening Night Trivia. I got a new camera angle. Uh, with me, I got Coho. She's got a new hair color. So we're all stepping shit up today. Is this uh, is the is it new? I, I feel like I've had this hair color like here already before, like so the at least once or twice. Would have been give you uh, bullets. I don't think you're purple then. No, I was purple. I was purple for Alex versus Bill. Oh, you host it. Right? Yeah, just, just came out to watch that. Anyways, got a match today. Uh, for those of you who are on the Facebook page, if you're not, you should be on it. That's where a lot of shit gets announced. Uh, like I, I announced the upcoming schedule, and something that me and Kurt talked about is I want to do some rematches. I think rematches are fun. It sees how players have progressed, and I would say, oh, here are the two players who should who should both be above 500. Uh, there's Melissa Woody and Chris Diaz. Uh, last time we saw Chris, uh, he lost to you in a very tight sudden death. Last time we saw Melissa, she uh, knocked out uh, Richie Goodacre. Uh, knocked out a big thing in this community that, uh, that being said, the only other match is against Chris. So I think it's very interesting, like, what could happen today. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I think this will be a good match. Um, Chris has has been really solid. Uh, gave me a good run, but I, I, I Melissa's very good, so I'm very excited to see how these two do. Yeah, uh, let's see. I basically just said the records already. Uh, so yeah. one one uh, and a knockout. Uh, Melissa, what? Melissa, do you have a nickname? I no. Asked that beforehand. I do uh, not. <laughs> she likes cats and movies. Melissa Woody uh, <laughs> and her opponents uh, with two and two. The Wolf. Chris Diaz? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, round one. I was known as the whiteboard round. You'll get 10 questions in a variety of movie trivia categories where I ask you to um, write an answer down. After I ask a question, 20 seconds after 20 seconds, we'll present your answer and speak it. Each quick answer is worth a point. You get all 10 correct. The bonus question at the end of the round also worth a point. And for the duration of this match, you have three repeats and one challenge. Competitors, are you ready? Yes. Yes. I will give you your first question. Category, action adventure. Who stars as astronaut Roy McBride in Ad Astra? Uh, fun fact. Did you ever want to go movie. to space when you were a kid? Is that just a job you wanted to have? I went to space camp uh, in like fifth grade. And that's where I got in my first like real fist fight. Uh, I that's killed cool. the kid. It was fun. And then and then you played the cross. Four. Lacrosse, three. Lacrosse. Two. One. Chris. Brad Pitt. And Melissa. Brad Pitt. Both correct. Uh, your second question comes to the category of the 1990s. 1997's The Game takes place in what California city? Hey, 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 Coho. Hey, hey. He lost the game. Ha! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I, hate, I hate you. I hate you. As soon as you said the words, I was like, "I'm oh, damn it." That's the thing that just comes back like every I don't know, like two I years. That at the party was like, "Fuck again." That's just a weird thing that this generation has. I don't know. Five, I love it. Four, three, two, one. Melissa. Los Angeles. And Chris. Okay, San Francisco. San Francisco is correct. Next question comes in recent releases. How does Gawain attempt to kill the Green Knight that is also the way he is killed in the Green Knight? We'll say we need something semi-specific. Rather than just murder. He, it's a... Uh, this is a good movie. Like it a lot. It's a great fucking movie. Good movie, yeah. Uh, good movie. Best David Lowry comes to the ghost story sucks. Ghost story does not suck, but this is the best. This is the best David Lowry film. Yeah, I agree. I watched a different thing about someone eating pie and crying today. It's better than Ghost Story. The Old Man and the Gun. Three. Almost as good Two. as The Green Knight. One. Old Men suck as well. Uh, Chris. Beheading. And Melissa. Behead them. Both correct. All right, guys, your next question is in the category of sci-fi fantasy. What organization hired Dutch and his fellow soldiers in Predator? So you've seen all these. I have seen all these, yes. 
Are any of them good? Yeah, a couple of them. Oh. A couple of the well, by the, all these, do you mean the specifically the Predator movies? Yeah. <laughs> no. Then no, none of, none of the specific yeah, yeah. Predator movies are. Good. None of them There's are specific. One good. Um, um I'll get I'll get a repeat. Sure thing. All right, your question again, sci-fi fantasy. What organization hired Dutch and his fellow soldiers in Predator? But yeah, no, there's no good. There's no good Predator movie. Uh, can you hear the chair creaking? Not really. No. Okay, that's good. I'm right. like, is it me? <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's totally like just <laughs> shitty. This bit is very bad uh, acoustics. But this is true. Four. You are a lot quieter in that room now. Two, one. Melissa. CIA. And Chris. That's a secret service. CIA is correct. Tie game. Tie game and no more perfect rounds as we go into famous actors and actresses. Which actress has played the characters Ida Horowitz, Mona Lisa Vito, and Mae Parker? Uh, have you seen the movie Ida? The what? 2014 Oscar nominee from like Germany or Poland, I think. Oh, Ida. I I did not. I could. I, you're very quiet. I could not. Code Code doesn't listen to me. Uh, fun things to learn today. No, you're quiet. I can't hear you. I think Jack might have turned it down, turned me down during the death recording. Is this that better? Probably. That is way better. Thank you very much. Okay. Five, four, three. But no, I've never seen Ida. Two, one. Uh, Chris. I can't move it to me. And Melissa. Yeah, that's it. That is it, yes. <laughs> uh, your next question will come in the category of the 2000s. What 2000s film features a supporting cast including Vanessa Redgrave, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Saoirse Ronan? Brandy We Bunch. stand two of them. Uh, Cumbersnack. Benedict Snoobersnatch. <laughs> Scooby Hatch with those Snoopy Snatches. <laughs> Bumper Flump Cumber Bump. <laughs> Why is that just so stupid? Why? Five, four, three, two, one. I'm Melissa. Atonement. And Chris. Atonement. That is correct. Uh, yeah. You have the next one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Next one comes in classics. The finale of North by Northwest takes place at what U.S. landmark? We got we got two. We had two carried away with the pronunciation of Benedict Cumberbatch. Forgot where we were. It's in one of my favorite first time watching last year. Hamburger. And Melissa. Mount Rushmore. Both correct. All right, your next question will come in the category of crime. Who plays Henry Hill in Goodfellas? I want to make a reference, but I can't answer this question. Nope. 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 I, this movie's like good. Yeah, it's good. I'm not huge on it. Uh, I don't think it's one of the ten best movies ever made. I don't even think it's the ten best, tenth best movie in his own filmography. I think it's just three hours for Stacey crime films aren't for me. What if the about sad priests fuck me up? Uh, I mean, I agree. The three hour sad priest four, movie is better than both three, of his three hour two, gangster movies. One, Melissa. I don't know. Is it Ray Liotta? And Chris. Hey, what below? Melissa is correct. Uh, is the He's bad not a good himself. fella. He is a bad the fella, bad and fella. that is correct for a tie game. Yay. <laughs> Your penultimate question in musicals. The Young Girls of Roquefort and the Umbrellas of Cherbourg take place in what country? I, I, I will say I would much rather see Rob Lowe play at Real than Ray Liotta. I, no, I wish he was like, in it. You know him as Westwing. I know him as Parks and Rec, so it would be like a little bit jarring of an experience. Well, I mean, thank you for smoking. Also, is like where he plays like that. he plays like evil Sam Seaborn, and thank you for smoking. It's like pretty great. 
I just like, um, oh, what the fuck is this shit? Uh, old guy, mustache. I like him just like playing an old guy with the mustache. Oh, like, Sam Elliott? Like, yeah, he's great in it. He's, he's, he's more, he's more <laughs> old guy, mustache, loves seeing him play a cowboy. There's only one. There's only one. It's Sam Two. Elliott. One. Chris. I have Russia. And Melissa. I said England. Uh, both incorrect. Uh, who's, who supplies the funds? France. Correct. <laughs> Uh, and your final uh, fil- uh, category will come in the uh, category of romance. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe <laughs> plays a character that goes only by the name The Girl in what 1955 iconic romance film? I made the Hamilton reference, so I mentally checked out of the question. Uh, hey, we, were, we were testing this early, and you're like, who's playing the fun? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they give us money and guns and half a chance. Uh, who's supplied the funds? <laughs> Both battleships. Uh, and so they went broke a fort, consolidate their gifts. We can win this war. Five, four, three, two, one. Melissa? I hope this is a movie. Gentlemen prefer blondes. Chris? <laughs> what? From what? what? Both what? incorrect. Looking for the seven year itch. That uh, both competitors are tied at around one six to six. That is correct. That's what I have. All right, now going to round two, known as the deep cut round. Uh, before this match, each player to picked away from their opponent to study. They received five questions of both the chosen films. A correct answer for the round was worth one point. How much for the opponent is worth two? Your piece of challenges are still in effect. Uh, Chris, since you're tied in your higher rank, would you like your film first or second? I take my film stack at Dilbert Militia film. All right, so I will give you questions from Melissa's film of Superstar. Uh, your first question. Avian and her friends talk about organizing a walkathon to fight what? So, uh, Co, what do you think of Tim Minchin? Love him. Yeah. It's good. I, just, I, can't, I don't know what to say about this, but Jesus Christ Superstar. That's a... I that's figured that's the joke. I figured that's yeah. the joke. <laughs> He's great. Have you... Uh, no. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. Melissa. Multiple sclerosis. And Chris. Hello. I think I can only accept Melissa's. Um, if, you, if you like challenge, you can. Uh, it's just, I think her specificity for deep cuts is what I was looking for. Yeah, the, 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 the app specifically because they, I, you did a thing specific. Right. If you like to challenge, you can. I challenge. All right, we'll go to the challenge. We'll be right back. All right, so we double checked it. Um, well, we didn't ask for specificity in the question while we'll, we'll double checking it. Sclerosis is not itself its own disease, it is just a mass or multiple sclerosis. So either way, we cannot take Chris's answer. Therefore, Melissa will keep her points, and uh, the challenge will be eliminated. So it is seven to six Melissa's favor, I believe, correct? Yes. Okay. Going to your second question. Finish the quote. When you're feeling sad, it's time for blank. Looking for three words. Um, I, I, know, I, I know I was listening to the John Legend version, but I forget who that Judas was. Brandon Victor Dixon. Yeah, he's good. Yes, he's well, I person. much. I will say that, like the the um, what's the word for that? Um, the 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 superstar of that one is was a Sarah Bareilles. Five. Oh, uh, Mary Three. Magdalene is Sarah two. Bareilles, yeah, one. Yeah, pens down. Uh, Chris. It, now I didn't have a tip boogie. And uh, Melissa. Is it Supermodel Documentary Hour? That is correct. Okay. (laughs) What is the name of the new dance move Sky says he dreamt about? What do you think of Superstar? I saw it once a long time ago, and it's not my thing. (laughs) At least you've seen it. I have no idea what this is. I know that, like, it's based, I only know that it's SNL. It's, it's absolutely one of those movies that, like, your friends in high school are like, hey, let's get together and watch it while we hang out late at night, Three, and everyone else is having two, fun, and you're not. Four. Yeah, it's that. <laughs> Melissa. Peppermill. And uh, Chris. 
The fax machine? Fax machine is correct. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, we got to a tiny laughing too much. <laughs> okay. What movie does Evian rent from the video store? So I love how it's oh, shuts out to my console. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, first repeat for Chris. What movie does Evian rent from the video store? Okay. I don't need to hear the name again. That might. What movies would Mike and Nazario rent out? Oh, evil thing, dead things, and things that are like illegal. They would rent out <laughs> things that are like illegal. <laughs> some weird, some weird, like, like Kayla Bowman's French birth, horror. 11, 22, 63. Five. Sounds some great. random <laughs> Swedish horror film Two, that Mike likes. One. Uh, Chris. Okay. Man, I like that flubber again. And Melissa. Flubber. Both correct. And your final question and superstar. What does Howard Feinstein do for the talent show? Uh, I definitely read that name super fast in the document and read the name of someone who's a real person. Um, you, you think of Harvey Feierstein? Har yeah, I read Harvey Feierstein, not Howard Feinstein. So, yo, this is Mulan. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's, That's what I know from before. Think about it, those who two, knew me. One. <laughs> Melissa. The full Monty. And Chris. I thought he stretched her hand on the red. I would accept I that. The film. I, I would accept that. that. That's what oh, the full Monty yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll accept it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It just says full Monty. The dot is what it's going off of. No, yeah. That's uh, what the full Monty is. So. Yeah. All right, with that, uh, Melissa getting four correct questions, Chris getting three, 12 to 10 going into Chris's deep cut yet as well. All right, and uh, your movie that you chose was Into the Woods. Thank you for letting me read this one. I've seen it. Uh, all right, your first question. Cinderella can go to the ball if she does all of her chores, and what else? Uh, this Move is... Lines. Okay. It's fine. Moves You're gonna hate me. I put it in the same camp as Lame is, where it's like it's clearly inferior to the stage show, but the bones are still there that I like it enough. I think Into the Woods is like definitely a better movie adaptation than Lame is Rock. Close. It's like significantly right. better than Lame is Rock. That's all I get. Three, two, one. Chris. Pick Lento out of the fireplace. And Melissa. Oh, I, I guess I was wrong. I said helps uh, her stepsisters with their hair for the ball. Uh, Chris is correct. Okay. No. Your second question. Besides the sweets and loaf of bread, what else does Red Riding Hood ask from the baker and his wife? I remember seeing this one in a theater. I think I did too. I saw it the day after Christmas because... I woke up with the flu on Christmas Day, like a 24-hour oh. flu on Christmas Day, and it was Dude. awful. It's an awful time. Naughty kid I, like woke then. up. I woke up, came downstairs, like opened <laughs> one present, and they were like, "Go back to bed. We're, you're gonna celebrate Whoa. tomorrow." He <laughs> just threw up everywhere. <laughs> uh, Melissa, basket, and Chris. I thought I hate to ask it, but do you have a basket? Yes. <laughs> give the full line. All right, your third question. How many paces does the baker and his wife... I'm going to say that again. How many paces do the baker and his wife take so they won't get lost? <laughs> I, 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 need a, I, need a, I need a match between you and Chris again. So you guys can both pick musicals that you guys can, you guys can just recite from memory. Oh, yeah. I'll say, like, who reaches the end first. I probably just have to pick Hamilton. It's just... It's all burned here. <laughs> first question, two right at the front. <laughs> Hamilton, Les Miserables. Yeah. One of those. Jesus Christ Five, Superstar. Four, three, two, one. Chris. And Melissa. 500? 500 is correct. Uh, back up to a tie game. Your penultimate question. What does the big bad wolf give to Red Riding Hood for her grandma? This is also just a weird cast. If you look at this cast, wild cast. It's like, stacked. Stacked. Except for James No, 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 no. Stacked, and almost everyone is miscast. Like, it's stacked, but everyone's <laughs> in the wrong part. It's weird. 
weird product. Only the casting director has great friends. Horrible decision making. Yeah, two or three people are like correctly cast, Four. and that's like it. Three, two, like one. Streep's correct. Melissa, a flower. And flower. Chris, both correct. And your final question: What causes the branch to grow at Cinderella's mother's grave? But yeah, no, literally, I would say Streep is like I, I think like Streep's Oscar nomination, I think is genuinely a good one. I think she's really good in Into the Woods. She's great. She's by far the best part of that movie. And I like one of the best. It's a crazy career because she starts off in like singing horribly in one of the worst musicals ever made, and then she's in this where she's like, oh, that's good. And, and she's, she's really good. Ricky and the Flash. Like she just became a good singer out of nowhere. And then she does Florence Foster Jenkins, which shows All her right. the, her talents Four, for Mamma Mia again. Three. Two, one. Uh, Chris. Her raping at her mother's grave. And Melissa. Cinderella's tears? Both correct. Yeah. So I have Melissa in the lead 18 to 16 coming out of that. I have that too. Perfect. Good game. Right. <coughs> now go to round three. Round three is known as the... I am to be round. You'll get three questions at a variety of point values. We're asking you to guess the final. <coughs> For two points, you have the year release, lead actor, and genre of the film. For three points, you have the year release, director, and plot keywords. And for five big points, it would be the decade. And you can pick uh, three between the director, actor, supporting actor, genre, plot keywords. And this is what you might mention. Melissa, since you're you in the lead, would you like questions from set one or set two? Uh, set two. All right. Um, Chris, I will give you. Sorry, Melissa, what did you say? Set two? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sure. All right, so Chris, I'll give you questions from step one. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, your first one. Your year is 2021. Your lead actor is Nicolas Cage. And your genres are drama, mystery, and thriller. Big. Start for two points. All right. Uh, so we go back to Alyssa for your two pointer. Your year is also 2021. Your actor is is Ryan Reynolds, and your genres are comedy, sci-fi, and action. For you guys? That is correct for two points. We will just be volleyball on this back and forth. Uh, Chris, your three-pointer, your year is 2014, your director is Bong Joon-ho, and your plot keywords are dystopia, ice, and train. No, Pierce. That is correct for three points. All right, so we go to Melissa for your three pointer. Your year is 2015. Your director is Denis Villeneuve, and your plot keywords are drug cartel, death of a daughter, and secret tunnel. Prisoners. That is incorrect. We were looking for Sicario. Sicario. Mm -hmm. Uh, so then we will stay with you for your five-pointer. Your decade is the 1980s. You can choose what you would like for a year, director, actor, supporting genre or keywords. Um, I'll do keywords and actor or lead actor. Uh, and you get one more. Um, what's the other options? I'm sorry. Uh, you can choose the year, the director, the actor, the supporting actor, the genre, or the keywords. I'll do the other actor. Okay. All right. So your movie comes from the decade of the 1980s. Your actor is Tom Hanks. Your supporting actor is Elizabeth Perkins. And your keywords are carnival, body switching, and wish. Big? That is correct for five points. All right. With that, we go to Chris for his five-point question. Chris, your decade is also the 1980s. What would you like? Uh, my choices? Uh, the year, director, actor, supporting actor, genre, and keywords. Actor, supporting actor, keyword. All right. So your decades, 1980s. Your actor is Steve Martin. Supporting actor is John Candy. 
in your plot keyword are Widower, Motel, and Thanksgiving. Plane, train, and automobile. And your winner, the wolf, Chris Diaz, with the final score of 25 to 26. Ooh. That we will jump okay. into post back interviews, starting with our unfortunate second place finisher here, uh, Melissa. Bit of hell of a game today. Really good deep cuts. Just round three didn't really go your way. Uh, how are you feeling? Oh, I, I feel fine. I, round three, I'm not very good at. <laughs> That's what always gets me at, in this league. But, um, but yeah, no, I'm glad to be here. I know it's been a while, and it'll probably be a while again. So. <laughs> well, uh. We, 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 do, we do want to see you come back, uh, whether in singles or teams. Anyone who you do want to play uh, when you eventually return? Uh, no. Whoever. Doesn't matter. All right. Uh, any any more words for me? Uh, no, we, thanks. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, I don't know what else to say. Uh, no, you're good. No, thanks for having me. Thanks for writing the questions, and hope to be back yeah. soon. Look forward to having you back uh, whenever we can. And we go to uh, today's uh, winner, Chris, uh, how you doing? I'm feeling good. Melissa is over. You did play. I've been nervous. Like, been a while. Like, happy I hit on my round three. Don't usually do great round three off at the time. <laughs> See, any, any match where you imagine you need to hit all three in your round three is a really big one. <laughs> yeah. So, good on you for pulling it out today. Uh, one of about 500. Uh, I don't know exactly when you'll come back, when you will be playing again uh, this season. Anyone who you want to play uh, when you do return? Honestly, anybody. I my been a my I this is a year for me making a comeback. Like I started strong last year, started strong again this season. Hoping to continue that streak. Be a two record, pretty good. I will say that. Okay, uh, we will uh, be talking to you when you return. Then. Thank you. All right. Uh, today's a hell of a match. Uh, both yeah, players from the chase uh, in round one. Rocky blows a pull slightly ahead, and then round three, Chris pulls ahead for the final one. Very tight, just back and forth race the whole time. Exactly what you want from this kind of match. Absolutely, yeah. I think both kept it really close. It 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 came down to when we went to that IMDb round. I was like, I I figured if both clean out, then it'll be Melissa getting that extra couple points, and then then it yeah. was just the, the the drop of the three, and it switched by a point. But I think both played fantastic for this game. Absolutely. Uh, with that, that'll be the end of us today. Um, so go and look to the schedule so I can keep saying, like, oh, it's coming. Come back later this week for a team's debut. Some, uh, some spicy stuff coming. Uh, thank you, Wilson, Chris, for being here. Thank you, Kodo, for being here. And uh, Kirk couldn't make it today. And thank you for me for watching uh, our great channel. So, thanks for watching Open Internet Trivia. Stay inside, stay safe, wash your hands, wash your face. Support local teachers, get a fucking vaccine and your fucking booster. We'll see you next week for some more trivia. Catch up.